This has got to be one of the most brutal moments in NHL history, not involving the end of someone's career. If you watched this game live like I did, I guarantee you remember what happened here. So, the Bruins and Canadians played a game near the end of the 2011 NHL season. Near the end of the second period, Pacioretty and Chara were chasing a puck, and Chara essentially rode Pacioretty into the stanchion which is the turnbuckle at the end of the glass. Now, it was an absolutely terrible injury, and at the end of the day, Patch Reddy would come out of it with a serious concussion and a broken neck. There were really two major controversies in the days that followed. One, how can this be prevented in the future? And two, what should happen to Zidane Chara? There was actually a criminal investigation started by the Montreal police. That didn't go anywhere. But there was a big debate across the NHL itself whether Chara should be suspended, whether he should have no punishment. And really, the main question here is intent. Chara's hit itself wasn't anything special. Pacioretty was so injured because of the unique circumstances of where he was hit. If Chara makes the hit on the other side of the ice, no one comes out injured, most likely. The question of intent was a difficult one. Personally, I never believe Chara did this on purpose. Or if he did, he didn't intend for Pacioretty to get injured to that degree. However, this was, I would say, the peak of the most recent iteration of the Habs-Boston rivalry. And Chara and Pacioretty in particular had a bit of a history, as you can see on the clips I'm showing now. Ultimately, Chara was not suspended by the NHL. He received a five-minute major in the game, and the period was ended early, but that was the end of his discipline. Many people across the NHL, including some players, were not pleased, and Pacioretty himself was disgusted by the outcome. Max, however, would make an amazing comeback. I remember I had him in fantasy hockey that year. He scored 65 points in 79 games. And I mean, the dude literally broke his neck the year earlier. Regarding the stanchions, some changes were made. The padding was changed and the general design was rounded, but ultimately it's still an area where players can get hurt. Anyway, I know this is a departure from the usual current events coverage I put on the channel. Let me know what you thought down below.